If you are the young people that are going to become the leaders of tomorrow, our future is a lot brighter. And so I just Today is the summit of our Invent the Future Challenge. So this is the culminating event to a year-long maker challenge for middle schoolers throughout MCPS, throughout the region. And they've all been designing and building inventions to protect the planet. They had to come up not just with the idea, but then build a prototype of, of that idea to demonstrate how they could create an invention to protect life on this planet. I think it highlights and showcases some very creative ideas. I think our young people are noticing that environmental factors around them is a real issue for them as they uh, grow up. And I think it's just an exciting time to allow our students to really think creatively and hopefully we'll get some solutions that get implemented real soon. And the propeller here is just yeah. um, for it to help lower altitude. So it doesn't This is an opportunity to give them access to hands-on learning, an opportunity to connect with leaders and business thinkers about problems that impact not just their community, but our global community at large. The first filter will pick up big trash. The second filter will pick up smaller bits of trash. At first, I didn't really like working together until I worked with a group and I experienced that it was actually a fun process. We realized that we have to make compromises and that it's not just our opinion, it's the whole group's opinion. These kids, like even if they're not going into the STEM field, they still need the skill of problem solving and I see that so much and they're so enthusiastic about it because they get to create as well. On behalf of MCPS, I want to thank the museum and all the staff and volunteers. MCPS has been a fantastic partner on this, really trying to bring it to as many students as possible um, and ensuring that all students have access to this deep learning experience. And so while we're only going to get an opportunity to spotlight a handful of you, I want you all to know that we are absolutely impressed with the powerful work that all of you have done. Congratulations. We are all